Yeah, so I I do think it's nonsense, uh, but I also think it's old. And if that's the case, I think it could have been true. I don't know if that makes any sense. Trey Lance went a long time without actually playing football, right? The the, the year he got drafted, he didn't play that whole year. What it was a one game, right? Like that that one game. Uh, then you you get ready for the combine, and then you step in, and it's like, all right, I'm ready to play football. And you're going crazy in training camp, and you're throwing, and you're throwing, and you're throwing. And all we've heard this entire offseason is he's throwing. The season was over. He stayed behind. He did a little throwing camp. Then he he went back out here for the uh, the practices. And then when practice was over, he was still throwing. Right? I think arm fatigue might maybe be expected. If if fatigue is just hey my arm is sore. I don't know about you guys, but I play backyard football a lot. And when I haven't thrown in a long time, and I go out there and I do 30, 40 passes the next two, three days, yeah, my arm is, is, a, is a rubber band. So is he going through that? Maybe. But I also don't buy it. I said all that to say I think they're all full of shit. I don't think that that's happening at all. Um, I, I actually watched the Colin Cowherd podcast that had him and Mike Silver on it, and they were like, oh, I don't know if you're hearing the same thing that I'm hearing. He's like, yeah, yeah, I heard that too. And and then it's like, well, just so you guys know, we're not making anything up. I also am going to like, yeah, I don't, I don't buy it. Sorry. Don't that was it. a good Mike Silver impression, bro. That was a good and, one, and, and now I'm blocked. And now I'm blocked. That's a better Mike Silver impression because that's all he does. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So okay. go ahead, Matt. I got the graphic ready. Here's what I'll say, and just to just to push back on you, Mike, a little bit. If what we hear about Trey Lance from everybody is true, right? The dude is a gym rat and a workaholic. And so for me, I don't think that I don't think it mattered whether they were playing games or not. I, I don't believe for one second that Trey Lance did not pick up a football from the time he last played at North Dakota State to the combine. I simply do not believe that. I think he was still working out. He was still doing all this stuff because it'd be pretty irresponsible as a quarterback, right? To not work on anything just because you have the season off. Of course, you're going to do your workouts like any professional, true professional will. And from all reports, I mean, we've seen it, right? Trey Lance stays behind to learn more stuff. Trey Lance gets his receivers together to work out in the off season. Trey Lance goes and works with quarterback guru to try to get his stuff fixed. After North Dakota State decided after that one game that they were not going to play anymore, and he decided that he was going to enter the NFL draft, which was the mind was made up early on that, he doesn't have to worry about college eligibility. If that was me, I'd be like, look, we're not playing the season, so I'm immediately going to go out and I'm going to start working with these guys to get ready for the draft. I got nine months to get ready for the combine, for pro days, for the draft. So for me, I don't think it was so much arm fatigue. What I think it was, was there was some issues with the finger and the the broken finger. And I think that that hampered him. And maybe that looks like something like arm fatigue. Maybe the ball was fluttering a little bit more than it normally would because he can't spin it as well. But you got a, a 20, I mean, at the time, 20, now 21, 22 year old kid. Dude, I remember when I was 22 years old. All right. I could run all day and not get tired. Right. My parents had to drag me back inside the house. I played basketball for like eight hours on end. Didn't get tired. Right. Or if I did, it's like, give me a five minute breather and I'm going back out there. But when I was 20, nothing could stop me. And like, so for me, it doesn't, it doesn't hold true. Just look at baseball. I mean, look at starting pitchers, right? They throw between, you know, 70, 80, 90, a hundred pitches per start. They do bullpens a couple days after their start and in between to kind of work on things. And then they go back out there. They make 30, 40 starts a year. So you're looking at three to 4,000 pitches with a much more violent and full body um, motion than you will throwing a football. And they don't get arm fatigue. They might blow out their elbow. That's an entirely different thing because they throw breaking balls, which is really hard. You're changing your arm slot and your arm angle and the wrist action, which puts pressure on, on different body parts, whatever. But you mean to tell me that Trey Lance and, and some idiot, I don't know who it was on Twitter, said that, oh, yeah, don't you see the little hitch in his throwing motion where he like bounces his shoulder back up? That's horseshit, man. I don't want to hear that. You got Mike Silver, who can't keep a fucking job anywhere. He worked at SI for this long. He worked at NFL Network for this long. He worked at Bally Sports for this long. And now he's part of the volume. Like, 
your career is heading downhill, dude. Um, we're we're they're looking at the same reports that came out earlier from that has been wannabe washout Ryan Harris who just made that shit up, pulled it out of his ass, and decided I'm going to say something stupid today, and he put it out on Twitter with no sourcing whatsoever. I, why do we have to go through this every year? This team does not leak. Where is he getting this information? Because the players all say, Fred Warner. Fred Warner's not a liar. I don't think Fred Warner needs to go out and unnecessarily pump people up. He said, Trey Lance shredded us in practice last year. You got George Kittle saying, that dude wows us. You know, We have the leaked video from the practices where he's making a couple of ridiculous throws. That don't look like arm fatigue to me. This is just so that people can make up a narrative and have something to do and they can take their fingers out of their ass and type something on a keyboard for once and try to get some clout. They're clout chasing. They're trying to make money off this kid and hoping that he fails because it's what 49er fans don't want. Nobody in the fan base other than the hardcore Jimmy stands want Trey Lance to fail. So when you come out here and you just badmouth Trey Lance, what you're doing is you're creating controversy. You're creating clicks. That's all this is, you know, um, one of the guys that does a lot of um, Dr. Narav, he writes a lot about um, players for the Warriors, for the Giants, whatever, whatever. He's just like, uh, I, this is like a really, I've never heard of this before. And it's true. Like I brought up with the baseball players, you never hear of arm fatigue in baseball right? Like very rarely, right? And it's usually guys that are coming back from like a Tommy John or something and they haven't been throwing. They haven't been allowed to throw in a year and a half. That's when you get secondary injuries. Um, You know, you'll get a strained tricep or like your bicep is hurting or whatever. Football, it's unheard of. I've literally never heard of somebody saying I got arm fatigue in football. It's not even near enough volume. It's it's preposterous. It's preposterous. And it's... it's I, 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 I don't know. Can can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I'd be willing to bet that there's more touch passes than like zip passes in football. You know what right. I mean? They don't throw the ball fifty plus yards down the field eight times a game. That's not re- that that's not what they do. Right. So well, and even if you do throw the ball down the field 50, 50 yards or whatever, that go route is not the hardest you're going to throw the football. The hardest you're going to exactly. throw the football is on the fifteen yard out because you got to get that shit to the sideline. Exactly. And that's that's such a subset of throws. I mean, listen, just watch the OTAs. Watch what the 49ers are doing. We know what they do in camp. They're not going super hardcore. They're not asking them to do an inordinate amount of shit, right? Most of it's like, oh, let's let's do this. Let's do this footwork drill. And then we're going to throw it to the wide receiver coach who's like eight yards away. It's a soft little pass. No worries. Or the receivers are running routes and you're just kind of like going through the motions. You're running at like half speed or whatever. The NFL doesn't do a lot full speed anymore. It's not conducive to you know, injury and and everything like that with players outside of the quarterback position. So for these two jokers to get on TV and, you know, I usually I'm, I'm a fan of Cowherd because, you know, he, he doesn't, he's not afraid to speak his mind, but this is just the bare minimum laziest surface level ass backwards journalism that you could try to do. And Mike Silver should be ashamed of himself. And, and, you know, he can go on a block party if he wants to, but, the fact of the matter is they have no sourcing. The only person I've heard say this was Ryan Harris, and he had no sourcing. Meanwhile, you got all the players defending Trey Lance. You have people like RG3 saying, dude, Trey Lance as a physical talent is better than Jimmy Garoppolo right now. You got a ton of people that want to back this kid. You just got a couple of jokers who who just want to go counterculture to the narrative and make things up. It, it's insane to me. It's insane. And it's, you know, it's similar. And I'm sure we're going to get into the, to the Jimmy Garoppolo to Tampa Bay rumors. People just like to make shit up and it's, it's disappointing and they should be ashamed of themselves. And, you know, uh, fucking it's ridiculous.